subscribe Vision Channel. Today we will share information about around the sea world. Let's explore the sea. Salmon King, Chinook. The Chinook salmon is the largest and most valuable species of Pacific salmon in North America, as well as the largest in the genus Oncorhynchus. Its common name is derived from the Chinookon peoples. Other vernacular names for the species include King Salmon, Quinnet Salmon, Suman, Spring Salmon, Chrome Hog, Blackmouth, and Tai Salmon. Chinook are anadromous fish native to the North Pacific Ocean and the river systems of Western North America. Ranging from California to Alaska, as well as Asian rivers ranging from northern Japan to the Palyabam River in Arctic Northeast Siberia. They have been introduced to other parts of the world, including New Zealand and Patagonia. Introduced Chinook salmon are thriving in Lake Michigan and Michigan's western rivers. A large Chinook is a prized and sought-after catch for a sporting angler. The flesh of the salmon is also highly valued for its dietary nutritional content, which includes high levels of important omega-3 fatty acids. Some populations are endangered, however, many are healthy. The Chinook salmon has not been assessed for the IUCN Red List. According to NOAA, the Chinook salmon population along the California coast is declining from factors such as overfishing, loss of freshwater and estuarine habitat, hydropower development, poor ocean conditions, and hatchery practices. Distribution The native distribution of Chinook salmon in North America ranged from the Ventura River to Kotzebue Sound. Recent studies have shown that Chinook salmon are historically native to the Guadalupe River. The southernmost major metropolitan area hosting salmon runs in the United States. Populations have disappeared from large areas where they once flourished, however, or shrunk by as much as 40%. In some areas east of the coast ranges of California and Oregon, and in large areas in the Snake River and Upper Columbia River drainage basin. In some regions, their inland range has been cut off, mainly by dams and habitat alterations, in Southern California. in certain areas such as California Sacramento San Joaquin River Delta. It was revealed that extremely low numbers of juvenile Chinook salmon were surviving. Life Cycle Chinook are considered urohaline, and thus live in both saltwater and freshwater environments throughout their life. Once hatching, salmon spend one to eight years in the ocean before returning to their home rivers to spawn. The salmon undergo radical morphological changes as they prepare for the spawning event ahead. Salmon lose the silvery blue they had as ocean fish, and their color darkens, sometimes with a radical change in hue. Salmon are sexually dimorphic, and the male salmon develop canine-like teeth, and their jaws develop a hook called a kite. Studies have shown that larger dominant male salmon have a reproductive advantage as female are often more aggressive towards smaller males. Chinook spawn in larger and deeper waters than other salmon species and can be found on the spawning reds from September to December. The female salmon may lay her eggs in four to five nesting pockets within a red. 
After laying eggs, females guard the red from 4 to 25 days before dying, while males seek additional mates. Chinook eggs hatch 90 to 150 days after deposition, depending upon water temperature. Egg deposits are timed to ensure the young salmon fry emerge during an appropriate season for survival and growth. Young fish usually stay in fresh water for 12 to 18 months before traveling downstream to estuaries, where they remain as smolts for several months. Some Chinook return to fresh water one or two years earlier than their counterparts and are referred to as jet salmon. The Yukon River has the longest freshwater migration route of any salmon, over 3,000 kilometers from the Bering Sea to spawning grounds upstream, Yukon. Since Chinook rely on fat reserves for energy upon re-entering freshwater. Commercial fish caught here are highly prized for their unusually high levels of heart-healthy omega-3 fatty acids. However, the high costs of harvest and transport from this rural area limits its affordability. The highest elevation Chinook spawn is in the Middle Fork and Upper Salmon River in Idaho. These fish travel over 7,000 feet in elevation, and over 900 miles, in their migration through eight dams and reservoirs on the Columbia. Cultural Aspects The Chinook salmon is spiritually and culturally prized among certain First Nations peoples. For tribes on the northwest coast, salmon were an important part of their culture for spiritual reasons and food. Many celebrate the first spring Chinook caught each year with first salmon ceremonies. While salmon fishing in general remains important economically for many tribal, it is especially the Chinook harvest that is typically the most valuable. The relation to salmon for the tribes in this area is similar to how other tribes relied more on buffalo for food and have many legends and spiritual ties to them. Chinook salmon were described and enthusiastically eaten by the Lewis and Clark expedition, Lewis wrote that, when fresh, they tasted better than any other fish he had ever eaten. They did not particularly like dried or pounded salmon. Lewis and Clark knew about Pacific salmon but had never seen one. The Western world had known about Pacific salmon since the late 18th century. Maritime fur traders and explorers, such as George Vancouver, frequently acquired salmon by trade with the indigenous people of the northwest coast. Lewis and Clark first encountered Chinook salmon as a gift from Chief Kami Waite on August 13, 1805, near Lemmy Pass. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe this channel. See you later!